I deserve it No time to have you lurking You make a rock, now you don't like it You know I dealt with you the nicest Nobody touch me in the right Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Sum Sum, and today I have my everyday, if I wore makeup, everyday look for you guys. I changed up the, I changed up the lip color from a nude to a red, just in case you want to be bold and popping. But usually I keep it nude because I'm just more comfortable in nude, and it's easier to wear nude, so I like nude. I teamed up with Foxy Bay Hair to come up with these bomb curls. They sent me a 19 millimeter curling wand, and here's the packaging. I use a 25 millimeter um, wand on my hair, and then the second part of the video, I do a tutorial on that, or an attempt on that. If you like this look and you guys want to learn how to achieve it, then keep on watching. So my babies, I'm just going to get right into this. I did my brows off camera, but I do have a brow tutorial for you guys. I'm going to be using my Bahi Cosmetics Rihanna Oily Skin Primer to primer skin. And then I'm going to rub it in. Come on, girl. Give it the program. Yes, darling. Rub it in all over my face like it was a moisturizer. I love this primer so much, and you can get money off with my code SUMMER. Now I'm going to be taking my NARS Radiant um foundation in the shade M A C A O I think it's Macau Macau and then the black opal foundation stick because the NARS one is a little too yellow for me and the black opal one is a little too red so I mix these bad boys together and look what I get I get the perfect shade so I'm just gonna work those in and like always I'm gonna put all of my coupon codes the products in the description box below for concealer, I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer, which is one of my favorites at the moment. But the technique I'm using is to do the upside down triangle. As you can see, I'm just going to do, like I said, an upside down triangle. Work it in and do the same on the other side. And highlight all of my high points on my face that are glowing. And those are called highlighting. So I'm going to do my nose, my chin, and my fat forehead. Taking my black beauty blender, I did dampen it and this helps blend out all of the concealer that I applied and putting it all over my lids to prime for eyeshadow. Taking my Queen Cosmetics Luxury Powder, I'm going to be applying it in all the places where I just put that highlighting concealer. But yes, this is the baking trend. This helps from prevent creasing and it was all the natural oils that seep through the makeup on your skin and I'm going to be dusting it away after a couple minutes or so. I don't like to keep it on long but I do like to do it. Oh, I totally forgot to tell you, I love this powder, the Makeup Forever, and then the Morphe E1 brush. I'm going to be packing it and applying it in all the places I did not bake my concealer, and then, yeah. So my bronzer broke, but I'm definitely linking it in the description box for you guys. And now I'm taking the MBZ palette by Morphe, and I'm going to be contouring my cheekbones. Okay, honey, snatch me. Okay, and next I'm going to be setting my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. Then I'm going to take my beauty blender and my highlighter and apply my highlight. This does a softer technique than using a brush and it is so pretty. Oh, yes. Okay, taking my Modern Renaissance palette, I'm going to be taking these beautiful two shades together and using it as my first transition shade. My eyeshadow technique for transition shade, I know you can barely see it, but it's the windshield wiper motion. See how I'm going back and forth, patting the color, applying it, and then doing soft strokes back and forth. This builds up the color. I'm going to be taking that beautiful shade and taking my eyeshadow brush, and instead of windshield wiping, I'm patting, patting all over the lid. And then I'm going to add some highlight in the places that matter. Add some mascara before lashes. Okay, applying lashes 101. I stick it all the way until I feel like the glue touch my lashes, like my, like, you know, follicles. And then I use my tweezers and lay them down on the outer edge right there. Bam. And then I go to the front and pull it down to the front. See how easy that was? And you are a goddess now. Now I'm going to take a white eyeliner and putting it in my waterline. 
then I'm going to be taking a black liquid liner and then creating fake bottom lashes just because I don't have a lot so here's zoom in I'm going to show you just creating little black lines to look like bottom lashes and then I'm also going to put on mascara and hopefully you guys think I have longer lashes it's just you know makeup's fake so you know lining my lips with a brown liner by NYX Cosmetics and I'm going to be taking my favorite Velvet Teddy MAC Cosmetics lipsticks and it's just my favorite nude I freaking love it and you can leave it matte like this or you can make it glossy so I added Queen Cosmetics lip gloss on my lips and it's so freaking pretty I love this lip gloss so much and bam like ham and turkey and gravy that is the nude natural lip but if you want to spice it up I'm using the Fenty Beauty uncensored stunna lip paint and bam I am now officially a spicy woman <laughs> So, um, the second part of this video, I'm going to be doing a hair tutorial, and um, this was sent to me by Foxy Bay Hair. They sent me the 25mm Rose Gold, Rose Gold Curling Wand, and they also sent me the smaller 19mm Curling Wand. Amazing. In the box, I just opened it now, it comes with the curling wand and then it comes with a glove thank goodness for you know when you don't want to burn your hands you know and then oh it comes with a little baggie like a little case for it that's so cute and then for the people hair styling for synthetic hair it tells you all the temperatures that you should put it on so i'm going to be using the 25 millimeter meal on me either, um, curling wand on my hair, and let's see how it goes. It's like a little count off. That's cool. Wait, let me see. Picks up on camera. Okay, so first things first, you want to detangle your hair. I just took a big brush and went through, and I'm applying some heat protectant on my hair. All of their wands come with a complimentary heat resistant glove, so you do not burn your hand. Say thank you, Foxy Bay. <laughs> I'm gonna start by sectioning my hair and wrapping it around these rose gold barrels, holding it for 20 seconds or so, you know, just count down in your head. And then as it gets hotter, you can let it go and let it fall off into your hand and holding it for about five to 10 seconds. That failed. That's not how the girls on Instagram do it. We're gonna try it again, sectioning, but taking smaller pieces and being a little bit more careful. I love these curling wonks so much because not only do they heat up super quick in the beginning, you could tell I was really impressed by that, but they're such good quality. I love them so much and they're rose gold, favorite color. And Foxy Bait was so generous to give me a code for you guys for $75 off all their curling wands. I decided to take down all my hair because it was taking a little bit long doing those little pieces. And I just really wanted some loose beach waves. So I just took them all down and took sections of my hair and, you know, continued doing the 20 second rule, you know, holding it, letting it fall onto your hand. And then at the end, I brushed all my curls out so they can become loose waves like I desired. And Foxy Bay helped me do that. So go to Foxy Bay here on Instagram, comment on one of their pics that Sum Sum sent you. And don't forget to use my code Foxy Summer for $75 off to create these luscious beach waves girl let's get into it <laughs> so here's my completed look if you guys enjoyed it then please like comment and subscribe to my channel all my social medias and the products coupon codes websites links everything are gonna be in the description box below i love you guys so much and i'll see you in the next video bye